No new hunt. That's nice. Checking to look at the uh, new renown too. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Is everything we've received and everything promised? 1635. 2.5 grand ability points. Ring of the Swift Shot. Genji Gloves. Oh. Tale Forbidden Seas Orchestrian Roll and the Fallen Enigma. All done? That's the, that's the end of it. 2850. How may I help you today, Clive? 2850 renown is the end. Okay. Best of luck out there, Sid. Sweet. So we see the end goal at the fight finally. 2850. It's just way the fuck away, or far away. Attributes. Gear and icons. Blade, bright burn. Oh. Where did I get so much AP? Go ahead and just max out my limit break then. What else do I want to work on? Oh, Thunderstorm is pretty cool. Master Impulse. Player Breath. Upgrade increases the breath range. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Which do I need for upgrading Flames of Rebirth? Is the number of hits. All right, what's up, August? All right, Clive. All right. Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Tough for that. Speaking of which, I'm actually a bit um worried about him, and you want my advice. Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission. And he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So, obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed. Only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And, seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought, maybe... Speak to him. I'd speak to him again. Well... I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. Cheers, Clive. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. What right. is... I'll meet you by the forge then. You come along when you're ready. Man, my man, what is your obsession with Blackthorn? Like, you just sit there and you're like, Yo, is this man depressed? Oh, uh, no, you're... You're just looking at other crafts, craftsmanship uh, works? Okay. Yo, you depressed? You sure you're not depressed? Oh. I wasn't expecting you back. I think you're depressed. All right. Three, five. All done. So there's that, and then the other ones in here. Oh, there is. There's a third one. God. So there's a blacksmith unlock, and there's a potion or crafting capacity unlock. You again. She can't keep this up much longer. Glory to Griga. There you are. Three side quest for me to do now. Too soon. What's happened? Tyre's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop, even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her chambers, if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. Fine. I know better than to order Taya to do anything. But I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did. Pray that these are towards the end of the damn side quest in this game is what I pray. I would like those Genji gloves, I'm not gonna lie. That sounds nice. Genji gloves are usually always a good time. Well, Taya, Rodriguez worried about you. And if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but you do need to rest. I will when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? 
Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. The crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them, we've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. You wouldn't tire. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. You do well to remember that, Rodrigue. He wants to talk all assisted suicide now? I, I will. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Just tell me what you need. There is a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norvent, near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. All right, then, you little monotone weirdo. Thank you, Clive. I won't forget this. You got it, Tarya. I won't forget that disappointing conversation we had when I could have taken Jill with me instead. New Game Plus problems, I guess. If there is a New Game Plus, I don't know. I'm assuming there is one, because Devil May Cry guy always likes to put that shit in. All right, Blackthorn, I think you're depressed, or so August says. What's wrong? Bloody hell, Clive. Not this again. That's what I'm saying, dude. Oh, and you got better things to do with your time. That remains to be seen. August tells me he showed you a ring, and that the sight of it clearly upset you. Would you mind telling us why? Come on, mate. Bottling it up ain't gonna help no one. If it weren't the ring, and it was something I said, then I'm sorry. It was the ring, right? It brought back some unhappy memories, that's all. Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. But sometimes it helps to talk about them. And sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? He clearly just Don't said he wants like to forget that. about them. Come on. Fine. Leave this man alone. I'll get you off my back. That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. We apprenticed together back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. The ring brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Vast has improved, though. More than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters because engraving metal's a nightmare and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe, and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer's another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Zoltan. Very well. Why don't we go and pay him a visit? Learn his secret? I doubt he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Swallow your pride and focus all your energies on the task at hand. Keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. But if you can't, and it's going to distract you, we need to do something about it. What'd you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. And it's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's-his-name is then? Zoltan, was it? 
In Dravozd, my old village. He won't have left. He's the chief. Dravozd, eh? That rings a bell. Not far from Tabor, right? Just north of the fields of Carava. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravost as soon as you can, yeah? And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Good luck with that. I'll see you there. <laughs> Alright. And then we gotta go up to the top of it. Right away. I'm alright with these two plus mark ones because they're gonna get me good gear and loot, so that's right. I don't really care too much. Well, I guess this is the backstory for Taria that I was looking for when I took her on that quest with me inside of Jill. So I guess asking you shall receive, just not in the way that I was hoping for. What's up, my man? Nigel? Sid! Do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Mm -hmm. Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. I'm going to marry the Morgan beards with morbles. I know, I know, but hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a morble vine to a morgan beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. All right. <sighs> And all you need is a single vine from an ordinary morble. That is correct. A single vine. As for the morble, I fear ordinary may not oh suffice. Oh my god. But, as luck would have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why, a notice concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. How timely. I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do, as do I. Now, where did I put my watering can? Please, sir, can I have some more? All right. All right, hunt board. Go hunt this more ball. At least it's knocking something off the hunt board too while we're at it. Extraordinary morble, huh? It's side quest really, so this can't be an S rank or anything, I'd imagine. Pick this up from the board and then start knocking down these three main story these three side quests so I can get back to the main story. If it's knowledge you seek. Hmm. Gotta be close to done with all the side quests in this game, yeah. There can't be that much left. I'm so close to the end of the main story because I feel like the Enterprise is gonna take me to loot and then from there it's into the end game with whoever the big bad is, Ultima. Ask about morble sightings. I hear your brother isn't a fan of carrots, Kupo. Every carrot of Rosaria is anything like the one that just got posted on the board. I can see why, Kupo. E rank. You should come across a red carrot protruding from the marshes of the three reeds and not to pull it from the swampy soil. Isn't true with another root vegetable entirely. An exotic species of morble that use a modified carrot-like vine as a lure to draw its plate grows. Um, before emerging from the earth and swallowing them whole, a cruel way for nature to turn those, turn these times of privation to her advantage. The whispering water is Rosaria. Oh, okay, I know where, I know exactly where that is. That is, where's three? Whispering waters is like right there. Yep. All right. And we go. Come on, girl. We got some lightning fast side questing to knock out. Oh yeah, look at that. That fourth limit break gauge. Looks beautiful. 
I love it. All right, in we go. Ordinary mobile, huh? Carrots in here somewhere. There he is. Carrot. Rank B, 10 grand gill and 20 or and a half. Fucking what's his face there. Bomb it. Just that easy. Notorious Mark slain. Additional 20 renown. Got 13 grand left to go. Morble flower for crafting. Morble tendril. That was definitely anything but ordinary. Now, let's get this vine back to the yard. A little annoying. The uh, constant, like, puddles of shit on the ground. Alright. Next is... This one. Go to Blacksmith's Blue. Go ahead and get Blackthorn in a better mood. Let's go ahead and hang a right. Blackthorn to improve his armaments. I'm down for it. I have hours today and I'm still like no end of the game in sight. 
the free cities and deceive. If I had not been doing all the side quests, I'm sure that I'd be there, but it is what it is. I'm Come leaving on. no stone left unturned with this game. Definitely are padding the shit out of the game length at this point though. Basically, probably wouldn't be as bad if I was just blitzing the main story and not touching all the side quests. Stuck in the rock. Come on, Ambrosia. Foot pads. I'm good. Don't get surrounded. No, thank you. Fields of Carava. You deserve a rest. Pause. August. Kicked out already? No. This charmer ain't letting anyone through. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say so. Well, I'll let you in anyway. You look like trouble. I suggest you go home. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. You ain't changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. It isn't. Blackthorn. Long time no see, eh? What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely, I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through! All right. Just... Don't go starting anything with the Chief. Yeah, I'll promise I won't throw the first punch. That good enough for you? Obliged. So this is Dravaged. Not much going on, is there? It's a smithing town. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. Clive, you're good with people. You speak to Sultan. Hey, you ain't backing out now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the Chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. All right. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. It'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. He'd have inherited it when I left. Forge on the hill. Uh, good luck. You'll be needing it. Alright. This place is depressing as shit. We got this uh, cop over here. Kind of stuff you're selling. Would you like to see my wares? Lion in the hair. Thank you. Forty grand, huh? Maybe you better be worth it. Welcome the Gilbugs. Anything else you don't want? Uh, I'll take it off your hands. Thanks. Around for treasure chest while I'm here. Why hasn't Papa come back yet? He's helping the chief with something very important. You go back inside now. <sighs> hmm.
pack here. Treasure chests? Anything? Oh, here's one. Goblin coin. Thank you kindly. Isn't there anything we can do to help? It doesn't seem fair. Not down here. miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron. Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Before things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's traveled a long way to see you. <sighs> yes, has he? He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you when you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers flames are next to bloody useless! We're never going to be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals. I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here, and neither are you. All right, I'm going. Chief, you've got to do something. If this keeps up, we'll be ruined. Blackthorn. All right, what's the idea, Blackthorn? What do you got? What do you got? What's the play? Cause I ain't got shit. But if we can't fire the forges, how are we gonna earn our keep? Gonna keep the camera off for these. Zoltan told you to piss off. As a personal favor to him, yes. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him round. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. What turned the village against you? I left. Dravojd. Sultan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft, who we'll labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People like Zoltan, whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit and divvy it out among themselves. There wasn't a single day we weren't each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. You would have torn Dravoged in half had it gone on. So. I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravosh prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out at any rate. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. 
You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the greatest smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Clive. Dravos won't last long without his furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shared Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. And you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. This place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Let this be another step on the road to freeing Valisthea from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Dravosht will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it that way, of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by heart. I'll be needing some help, though. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two with you, August. Uh, all right, then. And I've got a job for you, too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. Oh, okay. I need leather for the bellows and nothing else will withstand the heat. Luckily for us, salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. Time for a spot of hunting, man. I got you, Blackthorn. As long as this inspires you to make me some more dank weaponry, then this is all acceptable. Ready, go. Yeah. I wonder how close I am to like ultimate weapon, like final gear kind of shit. Something you be get by beating somebody. Let's make this quick, shall we? What I'm saying. I dare say that will be enough for a decent set of bellows. Let's go. Straight home now. All right, Blackthorn. What's this all about then? It's all this. Finding the skin. 
Nothing I couldn't handle. <laughs> there should be plenty. Right then, time to put these louds to work. If everyone pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time. Be damned! I honestly didn't think it'd work! But it's hot enough, all right, and without a single crystal in sight. You know what this means, don't you? <laughs> I do, yeah! Travosht is saved! Sorry about earlier. I, uh, and take back everything I said. That thing you built us is an honest to God's marvel. You saved our village. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. He oversaw the construction. Give this to him, would you? What is it? Pet Cole Cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there was my answer. Chuck it in the fire, and your forge will burn hotter for longer, which will do wonders for your steel. Our secret for yours. Only fair. I've always envied Blackthorn. Since the day I became chief, I spent every spare moment trying to match up to the bastard. No amount of sleepless nights at the anvil will ever bridge that gap, though. He's a genius, plain and simple. The man Dravosht needed, but he took all his talent and left, gifted and free. Is it any wonder I hate his guts? The cinders would mean more coming from you. I need to forgive him first, and that's not gonna happen. Well, you know what they say? Oriflam weren't built in a day and all that. These things take time. Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges tighter than their hammers. But what matters is, Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. And I'd call that a job well done. <laughs> so would I. I reckon he's gonna be at it a while yet though, so why don't you head off without us? I'll see that the old git gets home safe and sound. See that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. All right, it'll be a nice little surprise for him. All right. <laughs> also, I just realized I never did this after the last entry into the Revolved a town located in the rugged mountainous mining region of central Dalmechia. Known for its ironwork and armor, uh, uh, ironwork and armor and weaponry, forest here has long enjoyed a reputation as the realm's finest. In no small part due to the quality of ore the mines produce, as well as the veritable army of local blacksmiths whose skills are said to be unrivaled. Ironworks. Fully functioning shipyard nestled within the hollow of a sea grotto on the outskirts of Conver. The high cliffs and violet tides which surround it, effectively concealing the interior from prying eyes. It's here that Mid, along with the other allies from the hideaway, stri strives in secret to finish work on the Enterprise, a revolutionary high-speed sea vessel. Chestry. A curious clockwork contraption that is able to form several different musical compositions at the flick of a switch. The design is constructed by a young mid and instead label it her first true masterpiece of engineering. He hit his own masterpiece inside of it. The final part that his daughter would need to complete the calibration of the metal engines of, uh, that the two designed together. Uh, and what's in Lost Wing? Is this the last part in Lost Wing? Well, yeah, might link for. Oh, uh, okay, that's right. Gotta get the eye for Tarya. Hear the dog right, right, messing around behind me. How far do I have to go?
All right, let's go. Straight ahead, it looks like. Chocobo here. All right. Oh, there it is. Ah, as she turns off her chameleon powers and just waltzes out of the woodwork in front of me. Oh, hit the tree! Get out of here. Be safe. P, 2.2 grand. All right. Back to the hideaway. We're in on all this dank shit. All right, let's see what we get from Blackthorn for new gear. He's got some kind of revelation now. Gentlemen, I see you both made it home in one piece. Yeah, well, we didn't want to outstay our welcome. The whole village turned out for a go on the bellows after you left. Everyone except Zoltan has. Didn't see I nor air of him. Oh, but that reminds me. I have something for you. Oh, Cinder. How'd you come by this? And you're sure he wanted me to have it? I'm sure. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. Uh, you know I can never leave this place, don't you? Every time you put on mail, you and the Curse Breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honor for a smith than that. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, but I will make good use of his cinder. And if that helps save even a single life, then he'll have my gratitude. What was it you said he called me? Huh? A genius? And he spent sleepless night trying to copy me, did he? Sounds like I better get to work. I've got a reputation to uphold. It's good to see you back on form, Blackthorn. I don't know how you pair put up with me sometimes, but I'm grateful all the same. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, about to put Zoltan back in his place. Oh yeah, does that mean you're gonna make me some dank weaponry? I ain't got the art to tell him how similar they are. Stubborn bastards. A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. Still, it's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. And that's good enough for me. Maximus, please. Three. Get it. 35. Four Boros design draft. Diagram detailing the steps to craft a belt to end all belts. 
more Boros recipes unlocked. Neat. Take a look at that belt. So what do I owe the honor? This is the forge. So what would it be? Well, well, oh, that's reinforce. More Boros, more Chalcum, a golden stone tongue. Sons of Ouroboros, Thane Loincock. How much do these increase my defense by? 7 hit points on 11 defense? Nice. That it? <clears throat> Fine. Okay, is, uh, is that it? Or is there a weapon too? So would it be? Oh, there's nothing. Okay. Anything else? Well, hopefully I find those things soon then. Let's go ahead and these. So I need like some kind of lowering cloth and so something so else. Both from monsters. How's your marble vine? Uh, can't help but notice that your satchel is twitching in a most violent manner. Here's your damn marble tendril. Yeah, it's your problem now. What an amazing specimen. The flesh positively throbs with vitality. If I can successfully graft this to the Morgan beards, uh, when, when I successfully graft this to the Morgan beards. I suspect the results will be immediate. I shall begin at once. Dog it. Hi. It is just as I hoped. Sleepy little Witness. guy. How the Morgan Beards have taken to the blighted soil. How they bloom with heretofore unseen vigor. Why, I dare say such a vine graft would yield similar results when applied to other specimens as well. I'm glad I could be of assistance. You've not only helped us, Sid, you've saved us. Do you recall the extract with which I provided you before? I took a moment to distill some more, but this time with the petals from the invigorated Morgan Beards. And would you believe? Its potency has nearly doubled. You must accept this file as thanks for your assistance. The rest, I shall give to Taya. Man. So, I'm gonna have some mobile. Invigorated Morgan Beard Extract. This is here for incre further increasing consumable potency. Nice. Conceivable potency maximized. Now I just need to get the satchel upgraded. You have attained a file of invigorated Morgan Beard extract. Further increasing the potency of most consumables, both potions and high potions now restore even more HP while strength, Stonekin, and Lionheart tax, uh, tonics last even longer. Thanks, Nigel. All right, let's go hand in the one to Taria, and then we'll be on our way. And I got renowned re uh, rewards. Curious what that final orchestrion roll is. That dog aggro is sitting here trying to get some attention in pets. Not me. Walking away, you're gonna make me fall out of the chair, bud. Invest in a dog cam. If it's knowledge you seek, we've tons of plenty to guide you. Cole said it was an army of a cash. 
All right, Desiree. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back, sir. Sixteen thirty-five. Uh, clutch mine more at magic cash in two point five grand. Uh, Nally reports an expected surplus in dollar mill stores, and as a means of showing the town's gratitude for past assistance, has expressed her distinct wish that one Lord Underhill partake in their good fortune. All yours. Ring of the Swift Shot. Want them Genji gloves. All done. Abilities. This. What two grand to get it to where I can put that on any job? Get Giga Flare. I want to get Giga Flare instead of Earth Infinity. I think. Save for Giga Flare. Alright, I'm here to see your weird assisted suicide thing that you got going on in here. Thank goodness you're back. Taya looks like she's about to collapse. Is this what you needed? Yes, it is. Thank you, Clive. I'm loath to give a patient Alicia, but Taya's right. Sometimes it's all we can do. A single dose dulls even the most agonizing pain and all other sensation with it. It may be a gentle way to die, but it is death nonetheless. I wish there was another way. How are you feeling? Light, my dear. Drifting on waves. Good. Just relax. Let the waves carry you to a better place. Thank you, Daya. I'm... so proud of you. He's gone. Thank you, Rodrigue. And you, Clive? I'll see that he's properly laid to rest. You won't have to listen to my monotone voice anymore. The man you helped today was my mentor, back in the Southern Isles, on the front lines of some meaningless war. I was still a child when they shipped me to their triage tents. To treat the wounded with my gift. But in such blighted lands, I was next to useless. Until he taught me the true physicer's art, that is. An art we would be lost without. Tears of mercy were his gift to the bearers of the world. A respite from the agony of the curse's end. And the kindness Sid would have approved of. You know as well as I what life is like for a bearer soldier. Marched from one battle to the next, never knowing which might be your last. A commander may care nothing for the bearer spent in his service, but my mentor's gift gave the dying one fleeting moment of tranquility before the end. I've no tears left, Clive. I've seen too many of my friends taken. Something needs to change. And we need to be the ones to change it. And we will. I promise. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> 